Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to block the dollar A gap. This is a tip that everyone needs to know. And as we've hit kind of the Madame Bull uh, spark, you saw that this blitz absolutely demoralized Dez. And so I wanted to show you how you can pick this up. And we're also gonna show you how to make this blitz really, really good. Hopefully this tip is helpful. If you guys wanna get more, if you wanna get my full eBooks and get better at the game, join the Patreon. It's only $10. The link is going to be in the description down below. I truly believe that it will help every single Madden player get better um, because you learn from others. You learn from watching others. You learn from studying film. You learn from all of these different mediums. And I think that the Patreon is going to give you kind of a systematic approach to all of the information that is available for Madden. So without further ado, let's talk about the Blitz and how to block it. Okay. Free safety zone Blitz. What we're going to do is... The base setup is just to basically pinch your defensive line. You can press and put that safety on the left and zone, and you'll see a lot of times it's going to come in. Now, in practice mode, it doesn't come in a ton on when you don't back up the slot corners, right? So what you're going to do is, and this is what Wesley was doing to Dez, he was backing off his slot corner on the right side. And what you'll see is a lot of pass protection methods. Of course, I say that. We don't get the pressure in because practice mode is just really fantastic today. The, 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 when you back the guy off, he almost always comes in the middle. Okay. And what I like to do is I like to hold left trigger and then basically hit right trigger. As you see, comes right down the middle. Okay. That is the main blitz. Now, how do you block this blitz? And then how do you make it even better? So the way you make it even better is you're going to send this slot corner. So now if I block my running back, a lot of times the blitz will still come right through the middle. This is a great sin five, and, and so you have to have pass protection. So basically, here's the, here's the tip for blocking this. Number one, if they are backing off their slot corner, what I would recommend that you do is ID either the defensive tackle or ID the defensive end on the right side. So you see here, ID the tackle, and this blitz gets picked up fairly well. That was actually a pretty good pickup, probably one of the better ones that I've seen. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back off the tackle, and we're gonna send the slot corner, okay? So I wanna show you the same exact setup, but and we're sending five out, we're not blocking anybody. And what you'll see is the slot corner comes off the edge, but at least it takes away the A-gap portion of the blitz, right? Now, I wanna show you the best way to block the, uh, or another op option you have, which is to ID the defensive end on the right. If you, or I'm sorry, double team the defensive end on the right. By doing that, I feel like the A-gap comes in a little bit more with the Sin 5. So my experience, ID in the DT, is probably the best uh, the best method to making this blitz like as, I guess, um, protected as possible. Now, the other thing that I will give you, though, is another pass protection method that I like, which is to slide to the right and will ID the uh, corner on the right side of the screen. So see, this is kind of what it looks like. What this is gonna do is give you a better chance at still being able to send five out and actually pick up that slot corner on the left side. But as you can see, when they send five, it's hard to pick this up when they send five um, without blocking somebody, okay? So what we're gonna do to pick it up completely, when you send, or when you block your running back, what I like to do, and we'll show this against a backed off slot corner, is we're gonna slide protect to the right, block our running back, and then we're gonna ID the corner on the right so what you'll see now everything is pretty much the same and as you can see the running back steps up the a gap chop blocks him that was a shed but we're able to pick up pretty much the majority of the pressure now that's one method so those are a couple different ways uh that you can block this and this does not matter if you're in bunch or trips or tight right it it's the it's the blitz uh it's it's the blitz that's doing this it's not the formation so Keep that in mind. Anyway, if you double team the D end and then you can block here, a still you're still gonna deal with that slot corner as you can see. So my opinion, the best way to block this blitz is a slide right, ID the right side slot corner and then, um, or the outside corner and, and then you can, um, oh, what am I trying to say? You can basically pick up the five man. So you see here, pretty good pass pro. And now you're able to have plenty of time to hit you know, your open receivers. So those are some of the best ways and methods and tips for blocking the dollar uh, A-gap blitz.